For this installation, we need to install the input housing on the transmission first. However, the 890-897 series PTO comes from the factory assembled. So we need to remove the four bolts from the housing and use a rubber mallet to gently separate it so we can get ready to install it. This is a new install and the transmission doesn't have any oil. So the first thing we need to do is to locate the PTO cover plate and remove all the bolts that hold that plate into place. Now one thing we're not going to show in this video is to install the PTO lube lines. Those were installed afterwards after the unit was sent away from paint. So after you remove the cover for the PTO, the next thing we need to do is Clean any old gasket material off the end. Make sure that the maiden surface is clean. And then the next thing we need to do is install the doll pins until they bottom out. Make sure they are in the correct location for how you're doing the install. Install the special gasket over the guide pins. The rib surface should be faced outward toward the installer. This is very important to make sure that this is done. The reason why the rib on the gasket has to be facing out is because it sets the backlash for the gears. Now you need to take your input house and slide it over top of the doll pins and use the special bolts that came with it that have Loctite already on them. Stick them in, tighten them down to 40 to 50 foot pounds of torque and then we're going to get ready to move on to the next step. To make this go a little bit smoother, I like to remove the bolts at the back of the transmission where the PTO housing bracket will fit. I just like to make sure I got it in, kind of test fit it before we get ready to crane the PTO housing over. Remove the bracket, then get ready to crane the PTO housing over. I like to grease up the O-ring before I stick it back in. That way it minimizes damage to the O-ring when I insert it. Do not use a gasket with this step. The O-ring is what seals it. Once you're happy with that, crane it up and then gently insert the tube into the PTO housing. And then we're gonna get ready to install the bracket at the back of the transmission which will secure it and hold it in place. The final step is to attach the bolts. The four hex head cap screws that attach the tube to the PTO housing should be torqued to 30 to 35 pounds. The three longer bolts in the transmission should be torqued. If you have a 3000 family, it's 66 to 81 foot pounds of torque. If you have a 4000 family, it's 74 to 89 foot pounds of torque. Now remember, I did not install the PTO lube lines and when installing pumps use o-ring supplied with the PTO between the pump and the PTO output. Torque pumps to proper torque specifications. If you have any questions or comments post them below, otherwise thanks for watching.